Welcome to ATV TV. I'm Darren Dance here with Peter Morgandy. We're today we're at uh, Mitch Friedman Stables in Ballarat, and right behind us in uh, box 33, he's a dandy man. Um, I don't think he's going to surface because uh, he's just been fed, and he's a very hungry boy, which is good to see for a two-year-old stayer in work. Um, often they come in in their first prep, and they don't do well, and they don't eat, and then of course um, they have to go out. But he's uh, Showing no signs of that, Pete. Has not. We've been here 10 minutes. Hadn't lifted his head out of the bucket. So like me on a Friday night of a free uh, barbecue. Appetite like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's, uh, at all reports are, he's coming along good. So, yeah. Well, I'm here at Mitch Freeman's, you can't see, but um, it's all nice and green and lush with all the rain we've had, Pete. It's very humid. Yep. Big storms last night. I don't think we got any rain up this way, but no. um, I know Bendigo had a couple of inches. Greendale had a couple of inches. No, no. Uh, all down the east coast of Australia have had 10 inches yeah, some places. Yeah, they're just saying those, those fires should be out. Lightning down, wired away, but yeah, you would hope there's been a lot of rain. Um, Hopefully the fires are out up through the, the coast and we can get back to normal. Like someone said, there's a potential of no racing or cricket or anything in Sydney. But a lot of people are unhappy with that because it means there's a lot of rain where I need it. So. That big bash has been going for months, Pete. Yeah. I'm over it. <laughs> Too many games. I could get into it. I just, you know, why can't you just move the game? Why does it have to go for four months? Oh, no, it goes for four months and it gets to the grand final that it goes to <laughs> so we it. won't replace it. So yeah. anyway, it's funny, I was just, just sidetracked totally. I was coming up here, there was a caller going off at Wal Walcher. Is it Walcher up in New South Wales somewhere? Going off, I thought, geez, this bloke's like this. Anyway, they read out the tags, it was $126. And he come back and I go, if you, if you wonder why I got a bit excited, I've got a share in that horse. <laughs> 20 starts, first win. Oh, Two places, on. so it was... Good uh, to see. I could work out. It was like Rick when you know Rick when <laughs> Rick's back one and this Ooh, bloke. So. Okay. <laughs> All right, right so three runners last week, Pete. Yeah. Where do we go? I uh, went for a trip to a, a wet and washed out... Not washed out, but very wet kite. Did get washed out after you left? Yeah, the last two. I think we got our race in and another one. Um, serious deal. Oh, terrific, first up. Um... Sat in just off and finished fourth, only beating the length in a bit. And geez, just, you know, he should have a good prep on the back of that. Well, he's not suited that sort of distance, no. but um, got to the line well and there was a massive gap to the rest of them. So, yeah. um, well, the ones you wanted to beat Kamani, at home. Kamani was pretty heavy. Well, it measured up on everything he'd said in the week or two lead. No. So this prep he's going better? More mature? Oh, I sounder. think he's more mature and um, he's sounder. Uh, they were always mentioning that he had that little just in his gait, it was a little scratchy, but no, no signs Perfect, of yeah. that. Yeah, the kid rode him well, gave us a good summary. Who was that? Jaden Lloyd. Who? Jaden Lloyd. Oh. <laughs> and, um, Where did they find these guys? Yeah, his father was a good South African jockey. And, Jeff Lloyd, was it? Yeah, so he's down here. Um, handled the wet, but that's no surprise really with the done deal, although yeah. he had a couple of ordinary runs last time, but I think on slow tracks, but I think that was more inclusive. Uh, Just immature. Inclusive, Im immature and, uh, yeah, more rounded horse, and I, I, there's wins in store. Very good. Yeah. That was a nice debut, first up, this prep. Yep. Uh, Monday, which was at Werribee, was the uh, transfer meet from the Friday. Fact or fable? Yep. Um, she's finished sixth. She sort of was off the, off the bridle a long way from home. How far was that race? 11. Yeah, far too short for her. Yeah. Blinkers next start, 1400. Well, that's what Preble said. She yeah. needs to be winning that. Yeah, she, yeah. Otherwise, welcome to English Online. Well, you should. You're one of the major sponsors there at the moment. Well, they can't be. Uh, their philosophy is if they can't be uh, winning races and having any hope of getting to the city, then they should be going. Well, you're doing the right thing by the owners because otherwise they'll just keep munching the money, Darren. That's it. We we're going to talk about one now. Yes. Where they are at on the Wednesday. And Lady Matt Fee. Um, flies are friendly, Pete. Yeah, I've just got bitten. There you are. We're right about the bar flies. Bunch flies floating around. They're as big as a 50 cent piece and they've got fangs on them to the draw blood. Plenty of meat to have a crack at. Um, Lady McPhee finished second last. Look, she probably beat five links, but she her heart's out of racing and uh, she is on the English online. So. Yeah, she's looking for the breeding barn, I'm afraid. Um, yeah. She's won a race and uh, probably had seven trainers. And uh, just, you know, she's probably got a few issues now and she's just worked out how to go around without being competitive. And uh, look, we've given her every chance. And 
the training fees and the cost of running these horses, um, she's not going to be competitive at least. Uh, there's no point. So, yes, yeah, she is entered for the sale over this weekend, which concludes next Tuesday. Yep. And uh, I'm sure, there's, I think there's 156 lots in that sale, so I'm sure she'll get sold somewhere. Probably to the breeding barn, I'd suggest. Yep. Uh, she was uh, a bit of a trick right through her career. Well bred. Um, Beautifully bred, yeah. Took a long time to settle down. Um, I think Darren, we got the win out of her and thought she could go on. Get yeah, Weary got but the gear. But after he went on holidays, <laughs> uh, she, so did she. Weary got the right headgear on her to get her right, and then, then she's starting to resent all that now, yeah. so she's worked it out. So that, that was our runners for the week, so uh, one outstanding, one on notice. One gone. One going. Yep. Righto, we've uh, obviously nothing today, Friday, nothing tomorrow, Saturday, but uh, the innovative straight racing, or what do they call it? Uh, rapid racing. Rapid racing at Flemington on Sunday. Sunday afternoon, four to seven. Good half our team there, Darren. Seven runners, and we've got three starters in town. Yeah. 50 grand races. Yeah, they're sort of benchmarked. So they, don't, they don't race in the colours. No, there's a set of country colours and a set of city colours. Yeah, I'm not really sure, but uh, they, they don't be looking for our colours because none of them are no. all in special colours. Uh, the jockeys are all drawn out of a ballot. Yep. So I think we ended up with uh, Ben Mellum on one, Jared Fry on one, and the other one, um, I don't think we've got a rider yet because no. um, it was scratching and it's got into the field. I just wonder whether some trainers scratched because they didn't like the rider. I'm sure because they were early, like they were always like once the fields were up. Yeah. That evening. They're not big. Run, they only run twelve. Yeah. Because uh, so there's fourteen jockeys in the pool and they're running twelve, so I mean they flip around a bit. But, right. Um, so it's something new. Um, it's designed, I guess, on the back of 2020 cricket. Um, something new. Sunday afternoon in Flemington. Yep. Great facility. Try and get a few young people along. It's all over and done with in um, three hours. Will it work? Don't know. Um, I'm happy to see racing trying something to engage new people. Yeah. Um, I guess in the late afternoon they'll cash in on the international betting from Hong Kong and Singapore. Um, that'll help. So. I yeah. just wonder. It's good to see them try this. Yeah, look, trying it. I just wonder. I know Mooney Valley have slotted. You know they got a summer slot and Cranbourne and sort of old old night with them, but you know, five to eight on a Friday night will work better. Maybe. But, Maybe. You know, but I mean, obviously you got to have the little holes. Well, in the I guess when uh, Mooney Valley is closed, yeah. um, someone's going to do the night racing. Yeah. Why they shut? Yeah, getting right. redeveloped. So anyway, I'm happy to see different things. Well, whether it works, I don't know. But certainly. they're smarter the people than us, Peter, have come up with these <laughs> ideas. Certainly suits a couple of our horses. But anyway. I'm, I'm quite happy to go to Flemington race down, and all, I must say all the races are down the straight. Yeah, yeah. So the action's nice and close. There's so I'll be really interested to see how many people get along. And they're a good level that country horses can come in because they're basically 64s or 70, and yeah. one of our horses is in the main. It's a 78, which is social spin. Yeah. So they're, they're benchmark horses that can suit. Well, we've got a first people. starter. We might go to race yeah. one now, and um, like we've got a filly, a two-year-old filly in the first race now. If she happens to win this, she's a two-year-old city winner, and yeah. as a non-invincible filly, uh, it does tremendously yep. well for her residual brood, brooding prospects and you know, value. So the owners, um, you know, we're going to town first up, you know, with a two-year-old non-invincible filly. She wins in town. She's worth four hundred grand, um, five hundred grand. We obviously had her in a Bendigo, and she was sixteen to sixteen. But this is worth better because it's a field of eight now, and it's for non-metro winners. So yep. she goes in basically against. Them. A bunch of two-year-old maidens. So I think she's second or third favourite. 550, yeah. 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 So Ben Mellon will give her a good ride. Yep. Mick Price has been fairly happy with her yeah. and gives her a top three show. Yep, no. Great to see her there. So see. looking forward to Sunday afternoon at Flemington with her at four o'clock. Then I think we tick across to about six o'clock. Where yeah, it's Social Spin. Four. Yep. Social Spin first up with Mick Price as well. Uh, he's drawn Jared Fry in that 78. Now, he is a very, very good horse um, a year ago. Better than that grade. Very, very good horse. Probably was going to the Australian Guineas before he had a chip. And uh, then he had some um, minor issues with his throat, which have been eradicated. Yep. And now we get to see if he's going to come back and want to be a racehorse. Little concerns with his barrier manners at the moment. He's, been... well, he's a bit like you to getting out of bed on a Sunday morning, Pete. At least he gets going. <laughs> Takes about four lengths. He's been just he's he's actually done it early even when he won at Flemington. Yeah, he, he missed, missed it. it three lengths one day. Well they probably taught us that we could ride him back and win, yeah. but um, 
I, I mix mix onto it, so they're going to have a man up in the gates. And Put his head into the V, he said. So time to jump. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to be giving away three lengths start what in any he, race. He gave away about six lengths at that trial the other day. So I think the horse is, himself is going really well. What was Mix? Well, if down you want to have a bet, good luck. up to you. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's worried that he's first yeah. up off a few setbacks. Yeah. Down the straight for the first time. Yeah. Um, and started to miss the start all his career. But he's better than a 78. Oh, so well. if he's right, and if he's, and I think Mick's a pretty good conditioner. Yeah. And I haven't spoke to him yet. I thought I'd leave it until closer, like tomorrow. Yeah. Find out after ATB and get the late home for myself <laughs> and the owners. Yeah, but um, yeah. I think he's what six or seven bucks. He's six dollars. Third favourite. One of these 1,200 metre races and walk for 700. And I just don't know where that leaves him. But he should be. Close well, put, him, put him up in front, I would have thought. Well, it might. If he I jumps think, and they walk... I think the idea go, was to leave him on a nice loose rein. Well, he'll be charging. Yeah. He'll be charging. It's great, that. just great to see a horse of that quality back. Well, so let's funny, hope I looked it up. I think he's only had 11 starts. One nearly 400,000. Yeah. Yeah. It looked like being a Group 1 horse. And he's a half to La Parte, who was yeah. a Group 2, model of a Group 2 winner. So he's a lovely animal. Um, big, impressive, striding horse. And um, Jared Fry is going to look like a pitfall <laughs> on a pumpkin. He will. <laughs> he will. Medals. I remember, apart from his first run he had when he was Shinsaw at Benigo, he was first up winner at Swan Hill. And he, I think he ran second behind that, I think it's called Behemoth, that group, yeah, horse of, group one horse at Manny yeah. Valley, which didn't suit him around that track. So he's a horse that can go well fresh. Yeah, no, he can. And yeah, we're looking forward to seeing what happens. Yeah. If, um, if he's anywhere back to his best, he'll be winning that. Yeah, I agree. So, and he'll be in for a great prep. Yeah, no, fingers crossed, all goes well. And then we go to the last race, which you mentioned. We've got a run with Angel Lass. Yeah, she was second emergency got in, which that's the one I'm not sure about the jock. Um, no, we don't. Know, there's still no update yet. No, so I don't know I what's happening. I'm not too sure of the scratch jocks, but uh, well, there's sort of Luke two Curry was plus, one. Yeah. Uh, the other one was a country one. Oh, yeah. Maskey. Yeah. So there's our. Hall. And then there'll be another two that didn't have rides. Didn't have so rides, so they could be one of four. Yeah. Anyway, they're all capable. So, jobs. lady, what's her name? Angel Lass. Yeah, Should have won. Yeah, it looks a lady. Should have been a winner at Sandown. Oh, mate. That thing of Kara Mars was pulling and carrying on and hooked out wide, out of control. Yendo had to grab hold and probably cost us two lengths, and then she charged home to get a beat of length. Run home in about 32 70 something. Yeah, you should be winning do doing that, but. Uh, well, here we go, second up, um, down the straight. 16 bucks. Never been down the straight. Maybe we get 16 now before maybe a good jockey goes on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's one wonder they haven't suspended the betting, but oh, yeah. I suppose the, you know, the seven city and the seven country. They're all much, capable. Wouldn't be much between them. No. Feel sorry for the race cooler. Well, 14 sets of colours he wouldn't have a clue on. It was Karen, Terry O'Neill, uh, what's his name, Terry Hello, Bailey. Mate. And Rick, uh, old Nathan. Oh, that. Yeah, oh, and good. um. Rick will it. Yeah, he was saying uh, that. Terry goes all right. Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> if he bucks into the up, he's got a comment on Twitter he because he was saying, "I've seen the colours." He said, "This is the last night packing them, and it's a race caller's nightmare." So I'd say the colours are very similar with different coloured caps. Which, uh, Better them than me. Which is hard. It's a bit windy, as you might have heard. No, that'd be wrong. Right. Um, right. Yeah, so <laughs> good luck with the calls. Well, Angel Lask, uh, first go down the straight, super impressive first up, going better this prep, over all her issues with tying up and She's matured, on. I think, hasn't she? As a yeah, race. I think that time away and the pre-training and the paddock and everything we've done has really uh, got her going where yeah. we want to get her going. She'll be fitter, she had a really good blow try out the other day, if she, and if she's come on from that, you know, she's a sneaky place chance. Yeah, and 16's each way. I yeah. don't think she'll run bad, I'd be shocked. I think we've got all horses there. That'll so it'll be a fun day. Five dollar chance, a six dollar chance. At a you won't be there, will you? No, I won't be. No. Who's going? What Who's... have you got? Some sort of lunch on there? No, no, no. I've actually got the greyhounds. <laughs> greyhounds. So actually, um, um, Liz dancer has got a greyhound debut on next week at the Meadows. Oh, that's is that that RSN? Yeah. Yeah. I heard. Um, I forget what Gareth it's called. Hall was going on about it this morning. He was. A... It's named after her, an absolute bender. Uh, you're in the RSN lot. Oh, you, how does all that work? I don't really know. Because right, 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 the RSM boys were... I think it is an RSM. You know, they were all up and about Gareth Hall and that this morning. They well, way, so. Liz has been complaining about these. So you, you go in the draft and we got a share in three dogs. Yep. I think it cost two grand. 
Anyway, mate of mine was running it, so I, I helped him set it up, and I thought, well, I better take a share. Yeah. Liz has been bagging me out for 12 months, saying, we've got three dud dogs here, total waste of money, could have been a free, could have had when I had a holiday instead, blah, blah, blah. All of a sudden, this dog comes out the other day, and all of a sudden, it just trolls the house down. Oh, right, eh? Gone from being absolutely useless right, to eh? trolling the house down. Now she's up and about, <laughs> saying, we go to the meadows. Well, I've never been to the meadows. I wouldn't even know where it is. Somewhere this so side of Melbourne. Who's and, uh, the trainer? Uh, no, no idea. Like Garland? No, I've never done it. No idea. Never heard. I don't know. She so sends right me all the updates. So might be superstar. And now she's up and about. She can see all the dogs next <laughs> Thursday night, Pete. Be syndicated dog soon. Oh, well, I think I've been it. I've syndicated a few munches. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah. So speaking of the dogs, you where go. you'll be Sunday. I'll be at the Meadows next Thursday night, I assume. Oh, it's a Thursday, so that's I think straight it's a, to the big league. I don't know. Like push it around the bush. Oh, poke, poke it around the bush. <laughs> I don't so know how long this Broad Meadows. Yeah. Watch out. I've never, I've never been to any of the tracks in town. Oh, Old Olympic Park. Yeah. 30 years ago, but not... Uh, anyway, yet. so that'll be what will be happening with us next Thursday Watch evening, Pete. Now... So we're not giving that tip out. If you want to know what the name of the dog is, you need to ask Liz, because I actually don't know. Polite little email. All right. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> well, we'll know about the result this time next week when Mate, we do eight. I've copped it for a year, and now all of a sudden, oh, we're going to the dogs. <laughs> Woohoo! So it's one of three. So obviously they were bought when they were six months old or something oh. like that. Don't know. Yeah, they look like dogs. <laughs> very, very right up and interesting, were they? Well, they send out these updates, and um, yeah, they talk about this one's gone to sand down somewhere and won its first start, and this yep. one's doing this. And, this just sends them you go, we, we got the three duds. <laughs> now it's all changed. All but right, all right. Eh? Oh, well, we might... Uh, so we'll have to follow that. Might have to put the replay up this well, dog maybe, next week. Maybe um, on the newsletter we might just... Okay, guys, I'm not sure what happened there, but we had a technical issue with uh, the wind blowing the camera off the tripod. It just caused crash. That's what it was. <laughs> so, oh, that fly got me. Um, right, oh, so I think we're talking about the dog. We'll move on now to the other runner for the week coming up, which is... We'll swap sides. You go down there. Yeah, <laughs> great thinking, great casting. Um, Soto Dolce. Yes, she's having a final roll of the dice. Now she's going to be nominated Thursday for Doombin and then uh, Saturday for the Gold Coast yep. uh, next week. So, uh, kind of running out of patience with her, Pete. 1350, um, 1400. So, Damien's got her sorted. Um, he's, she's been in the water walker, played around, and uh, changed a rider. She's and change of gear. I think blinkers are going on. And uh, she's on the last chance to win a maiden up there. Or we might see her back in Victoria to win her maiden. She's good enough to be wet in a maiden. She's had no luck up there. But no. I'll tell you what, they're getting a ton of rain up there. Yeah, um, there's that. big fields. Um, it's very hard. So I thought Doombin was easy. Queensland was easier to win a race. But I don't think so no. now. So we might be uh, getting her on the truck and getting her back down here where we can win a race. Oh, well. And uh, we'll be looking for your advice on uh, <laughs> who we're going to get the trainer down here, Pete. Right, well, but I don't think we're any sure as the jo trainer's putting their hands up for her. No, she's certainly got She's got to go to stud this year, so we've got to get a win. Oh, I'm Invincible Philly. She's, she's got, got a beautiful... Talent. I'm Invincible Philly, I think, out of a fast net mare. Probably one of the nicest fillies you'd see. She certainly grabs well, she, her eye in the yard, doesn't she? I think there'll be a few breeders out there looking for a new mare that might be jumping in pretty quick, Pete. All right, well, we'll see what unfolds there. No pressure on Excellent. batters. No. She gets beat, she goes on the truck. If she wins the race, he gets another go. Gets his 10%. percent right oh, well, that's it. Right. I went to the trials yesterday. Did you? We seen here to Fox, who's, well, we were told, down that way somewhere. Trial really well. She runs... Uh, next week? Next week. The week after? One, uh, 10 days away? I don't so it's about 10 or 11 days away, but she was good. Where'd she go, Pete? Benalla. Benalla? Well, good luck with that. Uh, I don't even know if it's just Monday or Sunday, it's, yeah, whatever. It's I don't, away, but yeah. I won't be going there. But she's in good nick, so I'd be expecting, um, that's a good track for a run-on horse, an extra 100 metres, yep. So... She can't win there, she'll be winning next time. That third, trial was impressive. Third up I like with her, but yeah, she went well enough to be thinking you got the right race, you can win next start. Uh, couple of horses. Some Eric Hardy. What's that? <laughs> Need Eric. Oh, oh geez, they bite hard, don't they? <laughs> Mitch, <laughs> Mitch's flies are hungry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't feed them. Couple of horses trialled up nicely, having their first look in um, that environment. Uh, we had Madame Mischief with Archie. Actually went a lot better than what she'd been working. And she actually took 
but all in a stride. She's been a little bit temperamental, like mm. for a better word for Marty. She might have used harsher language at one stage, but she was good. She yeah. showed a bit of pace, held it together. Yeah. Um, good, nice sprint from the two year old. And it was two, 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 two year old heats, and that one went about eight weeks quicker than that'd be right. Than the other. So she would have won the trial, but we don't need. We don't need to be winning, like. do we? No. I and you didn't mention a race name on air. Did I? Yes. <laughs> Street baby, oh, I sorry, Street Boss Philly. With I thought her trial was good. Do you know what won the trial? Uh, probably Group Horse. Group Horse. No, oh, really? And Jana. Serious? Stakes Horse, she won Didn't the she third and close on it? It, it, the, it? Nearly the winner was under a double wrap too, but she, she sat back last. That's her first trial, isn't it? First look at anything competitive. What did Damon say? Was he there? Uh, no, he was over the sales to the was there, so I, I just spoke to the jockey, he was fairly impressed with it. Who was the jockey? Declan Bates. Bates, he knows a bit. I got him confused, I was interviewing, <laughs> oh, I, I was interviewing an Irishman. You I'm had going, a good day, didn't you? Oh, you sent out the update on Southern, South Pacific to, to Southern, Southern France. Well, there's two, and South, South and South, and, South <laughs> and then I'm thinking Then now, your sideways video on updates, <laughs> you were just on fire. <laughs> then I thought, now hold on, which Irishman rode which? Then I had Zach Spain to our Tony There's more Irishmen here than in Ireland. Just found that out here before. I've so. another one. So anyway, they were good. So that's pleasing. And they'll trial again and I'll be saying they'll be both getting to the races. Yeah, but. well I'm looking forward to Saturday week when uh, don't we go to Flemington and watch Serious Suspect yep. resume on the 15th? Yeah, but the day before that, Joe. Where's he going? Mooney Valley. Tawny Cup. Oh yeah, warm up for the Sydney and Adelaide and <laughs> Auckland. <laughs> we don't know where he's going, depends said, on the weather. I said At the to, moment I think Sydney would have to be favourite with well, a heavy 40. Anywhere that way. I said to Dave, I said, what's going on with Jones? He said, well there's one here that we have. And I'm thinking, oh yeah, right, eh? So we'll suit the jockey down the ground. I said, oh, is not Craig with Red Rangy yet? He said, no, there's been a Barney there. <laughs> I think he's banned. And John Allen's the bloke they're thinking of engaging. Well, he goes all right. One from one in the city. Goes all right. I Alan. think they've actually locked it in. Okay. I said to John, you ride Yogi. Wherever he goes. Just some more. Well, actually, on. he's such a great rider, Alan, and the fact that he doesn't get a lot of rides, yep. we can sort of send him on a mission. Yeah. Well, I said to him, it all goes well in Adelaide or New Zealand or could be Sydney or anywhere, and he said, ah, all good. Well, he had a big smile in, on his face. If it's raining in Sydney, it'll be raining in New Zealand. Remember that uh, he won on him when he beat Checkered Flag at yep. Flemington? Yeah. So, anyway, anyway that's yeah. the. Um, well, that's good. Nine and Two with. Looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. So, Friday works, so that'll be great. And. Dave was saying, oh, has he been around the valley? I said, he probably should have been trucked for fools there, second up, about eight months ago. So, they're pretty excited with the way the horse is going. Gee, look good. Yeah. Gallop well, sand or somewhere during the week. So, and Penthouse Playboy, oh, yeah. on a bypass Tuesday, they're going to go, because they didn't want to go to 1700, so it was a waste of time. And it was too far oh, to too go short. to 2300. Yeah, so they're going to go to 2000 at Coal Lake. Yeah, on Coal Lake Good luck getting around that track. Yeah. So what date's that thing? Sunday week. So. 18, uh, 16th. 18th. 16th. Yeah. So that's good to see him back. He looks good. He trialled well. At, that Harlem one, that trial, he oh. ran second in at Werribee. Yeah, some good horses like that. Australia Cup winner, isn't it? Yeah. Harlem. <laughs> So, He's one second of that, and what is he? A 64. They've taken their time with him. They've got him looking good. But they've got, got him looking going. good, and they've got the miles into him. That's one thing I've noticed about that stable is they there's no set plan to get them. It's almost it's like, like we wait till they're ready. They well, come to us, and then we go. It's almost like the kettle. There's a red light and the green light. When the horse is ready, it's sort of like they know when the horse is ready, and they won't push. Well, they're on fire, aren't they? Well, records there to prove They've done. Like, with Yogi, it's been real. It seems like a real slow process, but they've got a handle on him now. Well, and, they don't um, produce them until they're ready no. to run one, which um, I'm happy with. Yeah, and like also like Penthouse Playboy, why would you run over 14 and 16 and 8? Just waste them runs. Just yeah. waste them runs. Yep. Anyway, we'll look forward to seeing how he gets around Kyle Lake and gets down that hill. <laughs> hey. So you'll you just get another mile and a quarter into him. That's all it'll be. I just had this wise. vision. Penthouse Playboy. Yeah. At Cole, eh? Yep. My vision. It'd be like Peter Morgan on a tightrope. <laughs> that doesn't work. I don't I think, know how I thought of that. I think he's got more chance of getting a red car like I know that. We might try you on a tightrope, right. see what happens. It's to be tight. It doesn't have to be steel. <laughs> well, that's it, Darren. I've got right nothing more to add. Well, I'm going to leave it at that. Yep. I've got to take Beck to go and see.
Trent Cotchin and Damien Hardwick tonight. A sportsman's night. It's going to be romantic. I <laughs> see Ian Botham was up here at Sportsman's night during the week. Somewhere. Is it coming or gone? gone? Oh, right, right. I would have went to that. But He'd have a lot of yarns. Matey. I'm sure he... I don't know if you can tell half the yarns. It'd be a very close men's only job. Oh, but doing a good job. Yeah, but anyway. All right, until next week, I'm Darren Dance here with Peter Morgandy, and we'd like to thank um, Danny Man for his uh, contribution. Um, I don't know if he's been fit for three months. Just to finish the program off, he's ate his oats. We might spin that camera around to the Mitch Friedman racing sign. We were here. There he is. Hey, you. Look over here. No chance. But he's one of the two-year-old Bandinos that uh, we're pretty excited about that Mitch is happy with. So on that note, we might pan around Mitch's complex. A lot of people mightn't have seen this set up, Pete. But it's, I um, don't know how good that's neat. going. But, uh... It's very neat and uh, it's, it's very calm. A lot of air and plenty of room. And yep. uh, it's a lovely place to have a horse train. There's the banner up there, Mitch Friedman. Until next week. Darren Dance, Peter Morgandy signing off.